Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a what is going to happen uh, for you in the next 10 days. So this can be 10 days from when you're actually watching this video. Um, and it can be from when I uploaded it depending on when you're watching it, but this is timeless so it can apply to when you've actually just first clicked on this video. Please choose group number one, two or three, and then I'm also going to add some crystals on it. So if you would like to choose now, and then I'm going to pick, I'm going to put some crystals on it. So here are the crystals. Please choose group number one, two or three, and let's get started. Hello group number one, let's see what you have for the next 10 days, what's coming for you. We have this gorgeous amethyst, which is really good for love, for channeling higher messages, for your third eye, and also for your crown chakra. So let's see, let's have a look from the crystal deck. We got self love and courage. Gorgeous. So from the tarot, we have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Fool, Problem Resolved, and Trust in the Great Mystery. So what you have coming in the next 10 days is you have a new opportunity because you are letting go of something that does not serve you anymore. This is going to change your life, they're telling me. This is going to absolutely change your life. I also feel like this could actually be connected to somebody who you have your heart set on if you are looking for love. This is somebody who you actually know, um, who you're almost waiting for them to be not stuck anymore. So if someone is waiting on you to communicate, then this will be the same way around. So essentially it's either you or them um, kind of moving away from something that doesn't serve you. So I feel like there has been quite a lot of deception, a lot of confusion, a lot of negative thoughts running around your head, and you've had to give yourself a lot of self-love, and it's taken a lot of courage to get through this sort of situation, okay? It's been very, very confusing for you because it's almost like this problem takes ages to be resolved. You've been like, why is this problem taking so long to be resolved? And the answer is because it's divine timing, basically. So now the timing is right where the problem will be resolved and your ships will be coming in. Okay, so as I said, if you are waiting for communication from somebody, I, I can hear a car revving up. So I can feel almost like you're going to be starting up a new connection with somebody. As in like somebody could be coming towards you in a car. You could be going towards somebody in a car. Um, I'm also hearing like a lot of background noise and I'm feeling I'm hearing like plates kind of being tapped so I'm definitely feeling like tapped with like knives and forks so I definitely feel like this is going to be you're going to be meeting in a restaurant you could be going to a restaurant but yeah I definitely feel like there's some definite kind of letting go and being very content with where you are because with the uh, nine of cups and the two of pentacles it's like you have to gain balance with what is going on and the emotional balance is basically going to be coming in. And then this is, I love this in the middle because it's almost like going from confusion and it's almost like confusion and contentment. So it's almost like one minute you're like, oh my God, so many negative thoughts. And then the next moment you're like, oh no, I'm fine. So that's going to be balanced out because you're going to be walking away from something and somebody is also going to be moving towards you with a new offer and you're also going to be starting something new where you're going to be just basically in your own element i see you traveling as well so you could be traveling to somebody as i said or somebody could be traveling towards you and i feel like the universe is telling you to trust that things are going to be working out as they're meant to be and the whale spirit is one of my favorite cards because it's so beautiful and I feel like this could be some sort of twin flame or soul connection because the blue around the whale is almost just glowing and it's almost like an energy connection. So I feel like you could be diving into a new life where you're going to be surrounded by new things that's just going to be flowing for you. So that's really, really nice. That's going to be in the next 10 days. I can see something moving really quickly, which is really, really good. Um, I feel like it's been a long time coming and they're telling me it's been a long time that this has happened. And now it's really time to get started on what needs to be started essentially. So I love the fact that we have courage here as well because it means that you have used your courage to get through this situation and I feel like you're almost gonna be rewarded. So let's get one more crystal card, crystal. Let's get one more crystal card. So what is gonna happen in the next 10 days for group number one, please? Thank you. So we have knowledge. Oh, that fell on the floor. Deep healing. 
and we also have emotions and then underneath the deck we have clarity so it basically means that you're going to gain a lot of knowledge from this situation and it's going to be a massive deep cleanse that needs to happen because there's so many emotions that are stuck and you're going to get massive clarity and i definitely feel like things are going to be moving forward towards you and you're going to get a lot of new you're going to get a lot of <laughs> I can't speak you're going to get a lot of newness coming towards you okay so thank you so much for watching i really hope this helps um let me know come back maybe in the next 10 days and let me know if any of this happens and yeah i'll uh, be looking forward for you guys to be getting the full card and to be going on your way to a new life a new start and a lot of new good things happening i definitely feel like it could also be a younger person coming towards you or a younger a partner possibly or just a new star okay possibly i'm seeing um the water signs cancerian scorpio pisces yeah there's a lot of water here i'm definitely feeling possibly a little bit of earth a little bit of fire uh not fire air yeah so possibly i'm seeing that but i definitely feel like the water signs are much more prominent here and much more at the forefront so thank you so much for watching if this resonated then let me know down below i also do private readings i'm now doing a general reading where you can actually ask up to six questions but you can have a general reading as well but i also do crystal recommendations so i'm also thinking of doing a separate reading just for crystal recommendations so you guys can purchase one of those and i will do a personal crystal recommendation for you if that's the sort of thing that you want and also subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We have the gorgeous opalite here. This is an absolutely beautiful crystal. It's one of my favorites. So let's see what you have in the next 10 days. We have channel and communication. Gorgeous. Love that, that um, blend of cards. We have the Ace of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, love that, that is so nice. Uh, Judgment, the Moon, Queen of Pentacles, and then from the Fairies deck, we have Quiet Time and Set Healthy Boundaries. So this is quite an interesting combination, but I definitely feel like you're going to have some sort of healthy, emotionally balanced communication from somebody. It's going to be really, really good for you. It's going to be like a long time coming. It's going to be like, holy shit, it's actually happened. I definitely feel like things are going to be moving for you in terms of emotions. There's going to be some sort of newness coming in. I feel like this could be towards somebody coming towards you. Or this could be um, a turn in your life. So it's almost like you're going to get judgment for something that needed to happen. And there's going to be emotions that are going to be resurfacing. Um, I feel like this is going to be connected to the communication. And I feel like you may have to take a bit of quiet time to kind of analyse what you want to do with this communication or you might need to communicate to somebody so you're taking the quiet time to actually do that for yourself okay so i feel like you possibly could be channeling for your guides you could actually be using tarot you could be watching quite a few pick card readings on what you need to do so basically what you need to do is you need to just have some quiet time and think about what would be actually the best result to get out of this if you're the one actually communicating to somebody i definitely feel like communication is going to be really really important in the next 10 days it's almost like going to be pivotal to you um ascending and your spiritual path and i definitely feel like setting healthy boundaries is going to be very much communicated with is very sorry it's very much connected to communication because it's almost like i feel like somebody could have messed you around and it's almost like okay now i know what i need to do now i'm going to communicate how i really really feel and I feel like healthy boundaries have been quite a difficult thing for you to use because sometimes because I feel like you are a very genuine person, your energy is very light. It's it's almost like it can get stepped on and used quite easily. And now I feel like you'll be you've had this quiet time to really think about what you want and how you feel like you deserve to be treated. And now it's like actually I'm going to be set these healthy boundaries for myself, and I'm going to be communicating with somebody who actually needs to hear this. Okay. There's definitely going to be some sort of outcome where you're going to be very, very happy with it. You're going to be very grounded and you're going to get a lot of grounding energy, which is really, really nice. This is going to be coming across really, really well for you. And I definitely feel like, as I say, there's going to be some sort of judgment. And I love the fact we've got the Ace of Cups right at the start. So I definitely feel like you could be connecting with a water sign right at the start sort of thing. And as I say, these readings are timeless. So if you've come across this like a couple of months later, it doesn't matter. It should it uh, should still resonate. And yeah, I feel like I need to say something else, but it's totally gone out of my head. 
Um, is there anything else that group two needs to know, please? I heard you kind of like in a park with kids, so I'm not sure if anything involves kids around this group, but there's some sort of kids in playground. So I'm not sure maybe you're going for a walk that could be like a playground next to you. Or you might just need to have more fun. Like be more, have more fun, be more childlike. And I feel like there's going to be quite a lot of stability to do with money coming in the next 10 days. So it's going to be like an offer, I feel like. That's going to make you feel like really content and very, very happy. So what else does group number two need to know about the next 10 days, please? Thank you. I don't think it's very important for you to talk to your guides at the moment. Because I feel like they've got quite a lot of stuff they need to, they've got quite a lot of messages they need to tell you. So we've got heart protection. Deep healing. And we also have ancestors. And we also have underneath prosperity. So I definitely feel like you could be healing some old patterns. Especially in this next 10 days. That's going to involve quite a lot of deep healing. A lot of old family patterns that need to get need, need to go. And I definitely feel like your heart is going to be kind of feeling it a lot because it's going to be some quite intense energy there's going to be a lot of motions running quite high but in a good way because it's, there's a lot of flow there's a lot of flowing it feels really good i'm seeing like a river i can see the water flowing it feels really nice it feels clear it feels refreshing it feels like cleansing which is all really really nice definitely deep healing going on in the next 10 days so if you're feeling quite um in intensified possibly anxious um get yourself some hematite or anything any dark stone like a black crystal that will be grounding for you. Wear this or put it in your pocket or have it underneath your pillow at night time if you're having bad dreams, that sort of thing. This will help you to ground and it will help you to become more stable in this situation, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below. I also do a crystal recommendation for my general reading. I'm also thinking of doing a separate crystal recommendation for you guys if you just want to purchase that from me as well. Um, so you can get your own personal crystal recommendation. So if you would like that, then let me know down below. And also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, then feel free to click the link down below. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Hello, group number three. Thank you. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what is coming for you in the next 10 days. We've got this gorgeous blue crystal here, which is so nice. I love this one. It's just so, so pretty. It's so good for communication as well. So we have inspiration, spirit guides, and light bringer. Okay, I really like those. They're really nice. They're quite small clusters as well, actually. Like I don't know why I'm seeing that, but there's like I feel like they're smaller clusters than a lot of the crystal grids from the deck, which is really nice. So we have the emperor from the tarot. We have the nine of swords. Knight of Cups, the Star, the Knight of Pentacles. So from the Fairy deck, we have Awakening Your True Self, Letting Go. And then we also have Be At Home and Slow and Steady Wins the Race. So I'm going to put that right up there. Okay, guys. So I definitely feel like you are going through quite an intense, stubborn time. <laughs> there is some sort of somebody or you, this is you, who's just going through a lot of crap. And it will get resolved, don't worry, because we have the Knight of Cups. We see an emotional offer could be coming towards you. You could actually feel this before it actually comes. So you could actually get, have someone in your dream. Or it could be somebody who you're kind of sensing. Um, also, I feel like this is definitely a divine timing communication. Because if we have the star here. This communication has taken so freaking long. I feel like it's just been like okay it's never gonna happen like it's never gonna happen i definitely feel like this is a zoo the water sign or an aquarius because there's a lot of water here and i'm feeling there's just a lot of emotions being brought up i feel like because you have looked inside yourself and you've kind of thought about what you really want and deserve in life you are letting go of a lot of stuff a lot of stuff that needs to go it needs to go and i definitely feel like that's this energy where you're really just kind of getting into it but it's gonna it's gonna go it is gonna go okay so if you feel overwhelmed um they're telling me to just be in your comfort zone be at home be in a safe environment be somewhere that feels less overstimulating so even if it isn't at home it could be near a beach 
it could be in the woods, it could just be at a cafe, somewhere where you just feel less anxious and less overwhelmed will really, really help because you need as much you need as much light to come in as possible. So don't get too dragged down by the dark of like the emotions and everything like that because we have the light bringer, okay? And I feel like the light bringer is somebody, as I say, it's in the title, somebody who brings a light. So I'm gonna have a look into this, crisp, uh, this card because I haven't really looked into this card very much. So candle quartz is a light bringer. You have a sole purpose and you are here to heal the earth. At times you feel like your light is not shining bright, but at other times you feel so bright that you illuminate everything everywhere you go. The role of the light worker is at times very rough and sometimes we wonder why we ever decided to come to earth. Keep your chin up and keep pushing forward. You may feel that you aren't really doing much, but know your purpose is great. Go forth knowing that every action, whether big or small, is making a difference. You are on the right track. Keep up the good work to continue to shine and light so others may find their way. Call on candle quartz when you need light, when you need help lighting the way for not only yourself but for others as well. So this is quite funny because I feel like this is a lot to do with what I'm feeling today actually. Is I've been feeling quite ungrounded, the messages have been having trouble coming through. So I definitely feel like this is actually quite accurate to, to my journey right now. So if you are a light worker, a lot of people probably are who are actually watching this. If you are a tarot reader, if you're a healer, if you possibly work in care, anything you're, you're helping um, humanity essentially, especially in a spiritual way, this is going to probably really affect you and it has been affecting you. But I definitely feel like this is really good because you've getting, been getting a lot of epiphanies. And, that you, and because you've been getting a lot of epiphanies, that means that your spirit guides are very, very, very close to you. And this connection normally comes up when epiphanies are coming, which is really, really good, okay? So we also have Awakening Your True Self. And basically this energy that's coming forward in the next 10 days is intense. But it's good because it's Awakening Your True Self. It's getting, the universe is saying, hey, wake up. You need to, you need to start being yourself wholly and more authentically. And basically you will be pushed to do this. And I definitely feel like this is a good thing because I don't feel like there's any sort of blockage. Because as I said, that you are letting things go and things are moving, okay? So there is definitely somebody I feel like is quite interested in you or you are searching for a partner who will come forward in divine timing, okay? So don't feel lost if you are kind of like, oh, I really want a partner. They will come forward because it's just working on your emotions and making sure you're not this little jug here that's spilling over and filling up the bigger pond. You're this person who's filling up this entire pond with all your emotions and it's very well balanced, okay? But this one almost like doesn't provide enough to satisfy themselves and the collective so it's almost like this jug is more balanced so it's almost like it's coming in you're coming into balance and you are progressing really really well and also this star here is pretty much like spirit guides where they are assisting you on your journey and if there's any turbulence at the moment just know that it will get better and there's stability here there's full-on stability because we have the knight of cups then we have the star and then we have the knight of pentacles so it's almost like a flip between like so much emotion to stability so i definitely feel like it's going to be a massive shift but i definitely feel like you're going to have an equal balance of both you could also have a water sign and an earth sign coming towards you or someone who is a water and an earth sign okay so thank you so much for watching guys um this is really random but i also see some of you guys on a bus um i don't know what that means but i'm seeing like bus times and numbers I'm seeing like numbers in threes um, and I'm also seeing flowers as well. So if that resonates with you, then that's great. Um, I'm also seeing a teddy bear and possibly that's you just wanting more comfort, maybe wanting more hugs than usual, possibly feeling in a cuddly mood. And I also am seeing chocolates in a heart box. So possibly someone is coming towards you with an apology or they're coming towards you with a gift of chocolate or a gift of love. So thank you so much for watching. If this resonates with you, don't forget to comment down below. Um, I also do private readings. I'm also doing a general reading where I recommend you a person, where I pers give you a personalized crystal recommendation. I give you two crystal recommendations that is accurate for your um, situation and it's channeled from my guides as well. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to and I'll see you very soon. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Bye.